Hey guys, so as some of you may be aware, I just used a scan tool on the last video, uh, Amazon scan tool, to try to do a clutch touch point learn on my car, and it failed miserably. Okay, so just to prove it to you here, I'm going to put it in reverse. It's rolling forward, give it some throttle, and it'll go. That is 100% uh, what it does when the uh, touch points are not learned. So the purpose of today's video is I'm going to drive it around and see if it will learn on its own. If, if you drive it long enough, if it'll learn. So without further ado, I'm going to start driving it here. So I'm on, I'm on somewhat level ground right now and I'm just going drive. Giving it some throttle, reverse, some throttle, let it learn the touch point. Back and forth a bunch of times until it starts feeling like it's improving. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to go ahead and go on the road here and uh, see if anything gets better the longer I drive it. I'm in drive. Ooh. Ooh. I was trying to go into clutch B, but it wasn't learned well enough yet. All right, I just pulled around the block here. I'm going to come to a complete stop and accelerate. It's starting to feel like it's drivable almost already. Okay, here we go. Unbelievable. I, I feel comfortable driving this. It could be better. I think the longer I drive it, the better it'll get. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause you here and uh, see you in a second. Okay, about to pull on to a highway here. It's, it's getting better and better. Unbelievable. Uh, kind of a key point here. I am starting from zero on the uh, clutch point learn. If you uh, replaced your clutch, it may have stored values already, so it might be a little different for you. However, I feel like the if it's learning on its own like this, it should learn to... Uh, I feel like it should learn a new clutch as well and adjust the touch point learn. Okay, that, that was a great second gear shift. Third gear shift was perfect. Oh my goodness. Starting from zero on the adaptive learn, it's learning pretty quickly. Going through a tunnel here. Take a right, slowing down and accelerating. Okay. All right. So, um, my answer to, uh, is an adaptive learn required when you do a clutch or if you, you know, replace a TCM, I'd say do what I did here. Just, you know, reverse the drive a few times until it feels like it engages a little bit better and then drive it around for a while. See if it improves. If it doesn't feel perfect within a day or two of driving, uh, then you want to stop by the dealer or a mechanic and have the uh, touch points uh, relearned or get a scan tool yourself. Uh, probably not the one I got, though. That seems like there's an issue with that, the uh, scan tool. So anyway, I had good luck with it here. You may as well. So I don't think it's necessarily 100% required. Just it depends on how it shifts. It should be perfect. Uh, if not, um, wouldn't hurt to do a touch point learn. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.